Well, the good news is that this particular movement is going to be a lot easier than the last movement. This move is called Needle at Sea Bottom, as you probably saw in the title. And we're going to be going through a transition and then actually doing the movement itself. So, of course, I'll start as if I had started the form facing you. Now, we just finished the main weaves with the shuttle. So my left leg is forward, my left hand is up, my right hand is pushing. As I rock back, I'm going to turn my right hand palm up and pull it in next to my waist. What my left hand is going to do is it's going to drop down to about chest level. And as I turn, it's going to come across the front of me to my center line and it's facing in the same direction that would be directly to the right of me if I'd started the form facing you. So from here, the right hand pulls in next to the hip, I rock back, front toe comes up and turn, left hand stops at the center line. I'm gonna shift to the left foot and as I do that, the left hand comes over the top, goes to the right shoulder, the right hand comes up, palm up. So this is very similar to the transition from the white crane spreads its wings to the brush knee and push movements. So from here, rock back, Right hand pushes over the top, left hand swings up, and while this is happening, I shift to the left and step forward with the right. From here, rock back, turn. Shift forward, hands go back. I'm gonna turn this right foot to a 45, so it needs to be next to the heel of the left foot. Shift to it, and as I shift, I bring the right hand up. I start to drop the left. My left hand's gonna sweep across the front, my fingertips are going to dive down toward the floor, and while that's happening, I'm going to sink and step out with the left foot. So let's do it one more time facing this way. Main weaves with the shuttle. Rock back. Right hands at the hip, left hands at front. Shift forward, my hands go back. Turn the right foot to a 45. Shift to the right foot. As the right hand comes up, the left hand starts to drop. And then as the right hand dives down toward the floor and the left hand sweeps across the front, I sink here. So from the main moves with the shuttle, I rock back, the right hand turns palm up, goes next to the hip, and I push in front across with the left hand and it ends up in front of me here. As I shift to the left foot, my hands go back behind me, left hand palm down, right hand palm up. So they're not directly behind me, they're a little off to the side. Turn the right foot to a 45. As I shift to the right foot, the right hand starts to go up, left hand starts to drop. And as I sweep across the front, dive down with this right hand, I step out and sink. From here, right hand turns palm up, shift back, left hand pushes in front of me, right hand's at the hip. As I shift forward to the left leg, my hands go back behind me. I step up. I'm going to turn this right foot to a 45. As I shift to it, the right hand goes up, the left hand starts to drop. Then as I sink, I dive down with the fingertips of the right hand, sweep across with the left hand. So if I just finish the main weaves with the shuttle, I rock back, push across the front with the left hand, right hand's at the hip. Shift forward, hands go back behind me, Turn the right foot to a 45. As I shift to the right foot, my hands come up, or my right hand comes up as my left hand drops. Then as my right hand dives down, I step out and sink. So from here, rock back, pull in with the right hand, push across with the left. Shift to the left foot, hands go back behind. Turn the right foot to a 45. Shift to the right foot as my right hand comes up, left hand goes down, and then step out and sink with the right hand with the fingertips diving toward the floor. So after the main weaves with the shuttle, you rock back, pulling the right hand next to the hip, pushing across with the left hand. Shift forward, the hands flow back behind you. Shift to the right foot as the right hand comes over the top and push down with the fingertips diving toward the floor. So from here, rock back, right hand comes into the hip, left hand pushes across the front. Shift forward, hands travel back behind. Shift to the right foot, right hand comes up, left hand drops. Step forward, brushing across with the left, diving down with the right. Now with this one, 
You want to keep your back straight. It's okay to tilt forward, but you don't want to round forward as you do it. So you don't want to be here. You can tilt, but you need to keep your back straight here rather than this. Well, I hope you found this video very useful for the needle at sea bottom. Thank you so much for watching. So I want to tell you all about the latest product from the Pure Trim Company. At least this is the latest one as of the time of this filming. It's called Liver Master, and it's basically an herbal blend for your liver. I'll tell you what I've noticed since I've started using it. Um, it's supposed to be used on like a 90-day kind of liver program that you can go on. And what I've noticed is that I sleep better and my energy seems to be a little bit more even through the day instead of having a lot of peaks and valleys. It tends to just kind of carry through. So I don't know if you'll have the same um, experience, but it might be worth trying out. So you can find out more about Liver Master, what's in it, what it's used for, if you visit the website that's at the bottom of the screen. I hope you try it out and I hope you learn to love it as much as I do. Check it out, Liver Master.